Okay there, so we're going to do this grill here on the front of this TV. So here we have the latest save of the file open. And I'm going to work on this panel over here. So let me switch to the Modify tab and make sure that I have my TV case selected. And I want to be on the edges. And I'm going to select these two edges. I click on one, press my Control key, click on the other. And now I can see over here that I've got two edges, two edges selected over here. So I'm going to use the connect menu this time. It's the connect tool, but I want to use its menu because I don't just want one edge. I want two edges. I'll put those two edges and I'll click OK. Move out a little bit, get the move tool and move these down because I can see that this grill, it's not up here in the middle. This grill is down here near the bottom. And, you know, the, the top line, I might even move that down just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Now, that creates the space. I'm going to click on the Select Objects tool so I don't accidentally move anything. Press my Control key, select that edge. I want these two edges selected, the two edges I just created. And I'm going to click that Connect menu again. And I want two edges again here, and I'm going to click OK with the green check mark. I'm going to move these over and then I'm going to select that edge and move it over here and you know generally place it. And now you can see I've created the space to build this grill. Now I'm going to switch to polygons and I'm going to pick that polygon. Get off of the move tool. Get on the select object tool. So looking at this whole thing I can see that yeah you know still looks tall that yeah so back on edges let me grab that top edge and in fact now i need to grab those two little side edges as well and let me just push all that down yeah all right yeah all right so now i'm happier with that placement Go back to the polygon. Now, this polygon right here, I want to put a material on it. So I'm going to press the M key, open up the material editor. Wait for it. Here it comes. And um, let's see. Close that one. Stack them vertically. And then middle mouse button down to move them all up. So I'm going to create a brand new material. It's just going to be a physical material that I'll bring in right here. And I'm going to add to that physical material a checker map. So I'm going to bring in a checker map. I'm going to plug the checker map into the base color map. And then I'm going to apply this whole map to that polygon right there. Let's take a look and see what we got in the renderer. Got to find a place where I can grab this menu. There we go. And get that button. All right. As you can see, we've got, a, it's kind of checkered. It's uh, top and bottom, black and white. If I were to open up the checker, and if I were to change the tiling to two by two, um, then you'll see that uh, now we actually have a, a true checker pattern. We got a true checker pattern right there. But we want to push this even way further. And we want to change color one. Um, we're going to make color one kind of a, a, br a br brownish color. And I would like it to be a dark brownish color for color one. And then let me see how this is looking. Good. Now, let's bump this up to like 200 by 200. So we're tiling 200 by 200. And let's take a look and see how that's looking. Ooh, that's got a nice little weave to it. I'm just going to leave that material just like that, just with that look right there. I like that look. Now, I'm going to turn off the polygons here so that I can deselect my editable poly. I'm, I'm pretty much done with the editable poly now. I'm going to change to the front view and zoom in on this area right here. And I'm going to start to build the grill. I'm going to build it all out of... Um, not standard primitives. I'm going to change standard primitives to extended primitives. 
And uh, then under extended primitives, one of the choices is called a camphor box. So I'll select the camphor box and um, I want to put it in so that it is kind of laid out like this right here and up and click. And then there we go. Getting the camphor. Click one more time and then right click to end the tool. Do you notice that when I camphored it, look at how all those edges got rounded. So there's a little extra move to using this tool. It's a click, drag, click, drag, click. And um, for that final drag before you click, you're setting the roundness of these corners right here. Now I could switch to the Modify tab, and I'm going to change it. Look right there, the fillet segments came in in three, and it gave a fillet of a uh, fillet of 0 0.13, which looks pretty good. Let me change back to perspective though, and let me note something here. When I look at the object, it is stuck inside the TV. So I will get the Move tool, and I'm going to move it out of the TV. Zoom in on it here. Press my middle mouse key down. And yeah, it's it's stuck into the face pretty good. I'm happy with that. And it's got those round edges all the way around. It's got those nice round edges. Now, the one thing that I might change here, and I, not might, I know I am, the biggest number, the length. I want that to overhang some. I want that to overhang. Let me switch back to the front viewport so I can really see how well am I centered here between those two values. It looks pretty good. And I want this to rest right on top of that material there, the, that polygon that starts the top. No need for that to overlap any of that. And then um, I'm going to press the, let's see here, press the shift key. And I'm going to bring a copy down here to the bottom. Line that up. Make it uh, a copy, one copy. By the way, I don't want to call this camphor box. I'll call this grill order. Oh, 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 two. And then while I'm here, I'm going to copy that part, copy, and I'll click OK. Select back on this one, and I'll name it uh, grill border 001. There we go. So that sets those two pieces. Now, let's do a little dark magic. I'm going to turn to the rotate tool, make sure angle snap is turned on, press my shift key, and then grab this yellow bar and rotate it out 90 degrees exactly, exactly 90 degrees. Let it go. Grill border number three sounds good. And then I'm going to get the move tool and grabbing the little square, I'm going to move it down here and I can see instantly that I'm going to have to adjust the height of this one. I want it to be I want it to be a pretty close match. Height and uh, try to overlap these corners here pretty nice too. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm close. I'm happy. I'm going to press my shift key and bring out my last clone right here. This is going to be grill border number four. Now, next I'm going to make one copy of grill border, but I want to make some changes to it first. And so we're going to change its name from grill border to just, um, let's call this one grill 001. Okay, so this is grill 001. Um, its length, its length is fine. I could, in fact, I will make it a little shorter. So I make sure that it's all buried inside of the grill border. Its height, um, bring that down to make it not so high. And its length, I also want to decrease its length. I want to make it just, you know, all around a little bit smaller than the original. And then the gap I have there, let me see how that's looking in the renderer. Ooh, pretty darn huge. Let's move back a little bit. Yeah, still pretty darn huge. So if I zoom in on this, let me move this up some. And let me see how that's looking. Yeah. And in fact, my checker is pretty big, actually. We'll, we'll see how, I, how I'm going to decide about that. And then whether or not I'm even going to stick with, with that white. I, I like the pattern that it creates, though. It gives, it gives a kind of a, an interesting look there back, back in that. And from a distance here, 
it looks like a screen or like some kind of a mesh that was placed over it under that because that's it's obviously where the speaker is at so now back here on this one um i want to switch to perspective because i want to check one other thing too this thing should be recessed a little bit it needs to be set back so there's you could yeah you can see a little space there at the top all right and then man it is that is a huge gap i'm gonna bring that down and let's see here i'm gonna hold my shift key down bring out a copy and then I'm going to try to do 13 of these and see what happens. Wow. That was about perfect. So I've got 14 in all. Let's see how it looks. All right. So the checker is too dominant there. Um, I'm going to go back to the material editor. And on the checker tiling, let me change it to 300 by 300. And let's do another render and see how that looks. Yeah. Heck. I might even push it. 100 by 500. Yeah. That looks good. Great. All right. So there's a grill. We've made the grill.